What's up, members of the Barrio? It's John. And whenever I go to a new place, I always want to find those cheap, good local spots to eat. And while New York is full of super expensive restaurants, today I'm going to be sharing with you 13 cheap eats destinations that are actually good. Make sure to check out my cheap eats playlist link down below in the description when you're done. And tell me in the comments if I missed your favorite cheap spot to eat in the city. Here we go. We're gonna start off the list with the most iconic New York City food, pizza. And I'm gonna give you three choices here, all of them a little bit different, but all of them I personally vouch for, and they're all affordable, of course. We're starting off with one of my new favorites, the $5 Neapolitan pie from Keste. We had a chance to interview head chef Roberto Caparuccio, who insisted this pizza was the real deal. Yeah, well, and pizza is the pizza. That is really important. All the rest we call focaccia. But for just $5, you get a choice of three different pies from the Pizza Popular list. Margarita, marinara, or the Mastro Nicola. If you want pizza in New York that's really classical, this is an amazing choice. What if you want a more typical New York slice? Bleecker Street Pizza is a Greenwich Village staple. I always order the $3.50 Nana Maria. While it's not super cheap, you're also eating a pizza with Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. That's imported directly from Italy. And it has a unique taste that, well, you're just gonna have to try it out for yourself. We did a whole dollar pizza challenge video and I'm still impressed by the dollar pizza at Percy's. One dollar pizza slices are an institution in New York with dozens of them in Manhattan. You're not going for quality, but a quick cheap bite. You can't deny the value. This is also the cheapest item on the list and a great snack on the go. Consider me a dollar pizza addict and Percy's is certainly worth a stop. Mm, the next three stops all bring that Latino flair to your palate. Good old Aquario Cafe. This lunch only destination open during the week is the definition of a hole in the wall. Located inside a midtown freight elevator, it's as no frills as they come, but their $5 lunch is a thing of beauty. They don't skimp here. A healthy pile of rice, beans, and chicken. They're Dominican inspired, so enjoy this tasty Caribbean dish located just a short hop from the many tourist traps of Times Square. The Cinco de Mayo Market in Jackson Heights, Queens on weekends has one of the best tacos in the city that most people have never heard of. Walk to the back and on weekend afternoons, they have a special grill where the tripa is made fresh. And if you don't know what's inside tripa, well, look it up. But if you're adventurous, my goodness, I've yet to find a taco I enjoyed more in New York. And at $3, it's worth every penny. This is like, I'm in Mexico City. I lived in Mexico City before. I lived in Mexico for like six months. It just takes me back. Mm. We're gonna throw another taco spot on the list. Los Tacos Number no. One is one of my go-tos in the very busy Times Square area. They also have an outpost at Chelsea Market, which is equally as good, although normally more crowded. I always order a $3.50 Atabata pork. It's the best taco you can find in all of Manhattan, and Adriana and I will go to Midtown anytime just to get it. Now we're gonna be exploring three different dumpling places, and these are all super tasty and really affordable. Joe Shanghai needs no introduction if you're a local. One of the most famous soup dumpling spots in all of Chinatown, Manhattan. I ate here with a Chinese tourist visiting New York for the first time, and she absolutely fell in love with it. Look at that juicy broth. Eight pork soup dumplings for $8.75 is a great deal and will leave you feeling pretty full. Put this on your Chinatown list. 
Vanessa's Dumplings, my runner-up to Joe Shanghai, and worth a visit. It's a fast food environment if you're in a rush. $2 for four chive and pork fried dumplings is an incredible value. Pair that with a $1.25 sesame pancake, and for the princely sum of $3.25, you've got yourself a solid lunch. One of my favorite fried dumplings in all of New York City. Lhasa Fast Food, a tough to find Momo Shack. We're going back to Jackson Heights, Queens, my favorite food neighborhood in New York. I accompanied a food blogger here for a video and he introduced me to this hidden place. It's in the back of a cell phone store. These Tibetan style dumplings are absolutely delicious and at about $1 each can quickly fill you up. It's the perfect plate to share with a friend. This little hole in the wall is a real gem. Strecha is that long lost Ukrainian cafeteria you were always looking for, but never knew existed. Not well advertised in the East Village, it serves all of the Ukrainian comfort staples you'd expect, like borscht. And my pick, Vereniki. They're basically Ukrainian pierogies, and at $5 for six of them, will more than fill you up. This is just a ton of food, and even though I don't normally like borscht, I'll eat it here anytime. I highly recommend one of the East Village's best kept secrets. This is just like eating at your babushka's house. Homemade. Mm. How could this video be complete without a little dessert? A few other vloggers and myself embarked on a donut tasting challenge around New York so you don't have to. And the verdict, donut plant, is the winner. With multiple locations in the city, including one in Grand Central, I had to go with the black and white. At 375, this beauty is absolutely delicious. You may need to eat more than one of these, just saying. Bagel Hole in Park Slope, my favorite bagel in the Big Apple. After pizza, my next favorite cheap food item is the bagel, and this is a hot debate, but my twin brother and I set out to find New York's best bagel and discovered the winner in Park Slope, Brooklyn. $2.15, this plain bagel with cream cheese was warm, crunchy, and everything I ever dreamed it could be. Give them a shot. Mamoons is a New York City institution. Their falafels, a thing of legend. They also may have the fastest service on planet Earth. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. The hummus sandwich at $4.50 can either substitute as a healthy lunch or just eat it as a tasty snack on the go. Another vegetarian choice that this meat lover has no beef with. Guys, I've got a surprise for you. I'm gonna be including two more cheap eats destinations on this list because, well, 13's an unlucky number and I've got so much info I wanna give you guys. And also, I wanna show you my newest t-shirt in the Here Be Bar merchandise store, Manhattan. If you wanna order this, it really does help me out. I get a small proceed of every sale. Link down below in the description. Now on to the final two spots. The Punjabi Grocery and Delhi is the kind of place you're more likely to bump into cab drivers than tourists. This little hole in the wall deli has a huge menu of cheap vegetarian Indian food. My personal favorite, the aloo tiki with chickpeas at just $4.50. Grab one of the only two seats located in the back and give your taste buds a treat with some spicy Indian goodness. Team Adriana approved. This 24 hour deli is by far one of my favorite cheap eat spots on the list. The godfather of the Kanish, this old school Jewish staple is so simple and so good. Dough stuffed with potato, Eat this classic New York comfort food at $4.25. It's actually quite filling and very tasty. Some call this the original fast food of New York, open since 1910. You must add this to your cheap eats list. 
Guys, tell me down below in the comments where your favorite cheap eats spot is in New York. I'm curious. And make sure to check out my other New York City guides, all linked down below in the description. Now get out there and eat something. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.